Hey guys, it's Kristen with Decorators Warehouse and I am thrilled that you're here today. We are gonna walk you through one of our top selling designs, which is our Glam Christmas Tree Bundle. It's called the Natural Elegance Bundle. It's everything that you see here broken down into four simple steps. So come along as we teach you how to decorate like a professional. For our first step, we're gonna do our Christmas tree topper, and I love Christmas tree toppers. All right, let's go into step one, which is our Christmas tree topper. I love Christmas tree toppers because they provide polish, they carry the theme throughout the whole body of the design. When you're choosing your Christmas tree sprays, what you want is to find a mixture of different textures, and you wanna look for some pieces with height. So for this design, it's a glam Christmas, which you guys, every year you just show us how much you love the natural elegance glam look. Um, this is kind of a continuation of that. Mixed metals, platinum, champagnes, they're so on trend for 2023. So that you, I think you're gonna love this design. So for this topper, I have five different sprays. This is a nine foot tree that I'm decorating. I'm gonna be using three of each of these sprays. Uh, if you like a fuller topper, you know, go with the same five styles, but up the quantity of each piece. So for example, you could do five of each piece, six, seven, somewhere in that range. So I have this berry, which I love. It's big, it opens up, opens up really nice. I've got a leaf. I have another berry. Now this one's more of a matte silver platinum and it has a light dusting of the champagne. It really pulls in the mixed metal look. Uh, this one's great. And then I've got the champagne leaf as well. So we're gonna start with our biggest, bulkiest piece, which is this gold frosted berry. I'm gonna go ahead and place all three of my gold berries first. When you get this one out of the package, it's gonna come pretty compressed. We wanna open it up. And then we're gonna run the stem straight along the pole. And I'm gonna place this one kind of front and center. And then I'm gonna use the actual branches of the tree itself to secure it into place. Now I'm gonna place one on this side and one on the other side as well. The next stem I'm gonna place is this wonderful leaf. So here I'm changing my textures. I don't wanna go immediately into a berry after I've already placed a berry. So since this is flat and kind of open, it's gonna be great to alternate this texture in. So now what I'm gonna do is the same process. I'm running the stem straight and I'm gonna place them kind of in between the stems that are already placed. So the very first stem I placed had a lot of the gold from the mixed metal look. This one kind of ties in the gold and the silver. Now I'm bringing in a champagne. So I always try to mix up the colors as well. I don't want two of the same textures right next to each other. I also don't want two of the same colors right next to each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and place three of this leaf. It's great because it's really nice and airy. We've got a flat, a round, and then kind of more wispy. And then the next stem I'm gonna place is this platinum berry. This is great because it has more of a silver tone. So again, I'm kind of mixing up my colors. The last stem I'm gonna place is this leaf. Guys, it's all about symmetry and balance. So I do have a lot of round and berry, so this is great to break that up as well. Um, this is my last stem in the topper, and then I'll show you how to transition into the base of the tree. Okay, when your topper is complete, we're gonna use a couple florals. So I have um, this one, it's gorgeous and this platinum kind of metallic one. So I'm gonna put these kind of at the base of my topper. What that's gonna do, it's gonna hide any stems that are visible right now, and then it's gonna transition us into the design of the tree. So let's go ahead and start with this metallic one. And what I'm doing, we're still going straight with the stems, but because it's a floral head, we wanna angle that so that floral head is facing out. And we're gonna put this one kind of up We'll put the next one more in this area. Use the branches of the tree to hold it in place. Okay, 
Okay, so moving into step two, which is ribbon. Let's talk ribbon for a second because I adore ribbon and you probably already know that about me. It really makes your design beautiful. So for this nine foot tree, I'm using three 10 yard rolls of each style in the body of my tree. Now let's talk about how to choose ribbon. So whenever I'm choosing ribbon, I always like to think about the theme or the color palette that I'm working with and just pick something that really speaks to me. And guys, this year, this ribbon was speaking to me because it is stunning. It's got kind of a French um, lattice design, a little bit of ivory and a soft, soft metallic gold. So this is gonna be the main ribbon. It's gonna be on the top layer and it's what you're gonna see when you look at the tree. The second ribbon when I'm layering, this is like, think of this as like the supporting roll. So it is not the main star by any chance. It's basically supporting what you have on the top. So when choosing a bottom layer, I like to do something that's subtle. Um, for example, like a textured ribbon. This is like a nice gold mesh. You could do a solid ribbon. You could do like a plaid or just something that has a repeating pattern that's not too bold or overwhelming. So these are the two I've got. Uh, I'm gonna jump back on the ladder and show you kind of where I start the ribbon and how to pull that through the base of the tree. So when I'm decorating, I like to work top down. So we've got our topper, we've got our flowers. Now we're kind of working in this area and that's where we're gonna start our ribbon. So my ribbon is on top of each other. I'm gonna give it a fold. I'm gonna make a diagonal cut. This is called the fishtail. We're just gonna make a pleat to create a tail. We'll go straight into a loop. And then we're gonna make a hard twist to bring that back to the top. And then we're gonna make another loop. So it's, we're basically creating like a little um, two loop bow. I don't know why I do this, but it's kind of my signature. So I always start with a little two loop bow and a tail at the top, moving into a bigger loop. So we're gonna tuck that in. We're gonna use the branches to secure it in place. Now you're gonna wanna open your loops back up. Make sure your tail goes in an upward motion. It's hiding any uh, stems that are still visible from the topper. And then we're gonna go right into a bigger loop. So we don't want that tight in the tree. See how I'm kind of rolling my hand under it to create a little bit of a billowing effect. You're gonna tuck it into the branch and then use the branch to secure it. And then we're gonna go ahead and do another fold, make a cut to create that fishtail and see how pretty that looks. So we're essentially gonna work in tails and loops all the way around the tree. Here at the top is our starting point. My next one, I'm gonna come more on this side and that's where I'll create that continuation. So for this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pleat we're gonna make one loop. So you're folding it, pinching it, and then twist. And now we're gonna place it kind of offset, going in the opposite direction. And I'm running my hand along to create that billow effect again and tucking it into the branch. It's probably hard to see with my ladder right here, I apologize, but I'm basically folding it in half and making another fishtail. So I've got one continuation there. Let's continue that process all the way around the tree. For this one also, I'm gonna put my smaller loop at the bottom of the continuation. So I'll just leave a tail here, a bigger billow and a small loop. You can put that smaller loop as an accent anywhere within your run. You could do it at the top, you could do it at the bottom, you could do two at the bottom. It's just kind of whatever feels right and feels natural. All right, our ribbon is complete. What do y'all think? Um, how many of you were scared to cut your ribbon? Because I know some of you were, so tell me in the comments. <laughs> but moving on to layer three, or step three, we're gonna do our florals and sprays. So I always use a combination of what I call floral clusters. And clusters are essentially exactly what it sounds like. It's grouping florals like this 
with sprays to make larger chunks that kind of fill in bigger areas of our tree. Because that's what we're doing is we're taking the area of our tree, we're using pieces that complement each other to fill the whole space. So for this cluster, I'm using three stems. Um, I have a berry, so something round and a leaf, something flat, uh, which we're gonna place them on top of each other. You can kind of pull, you know, some of the leaves forward maybe. So essentially you want it to look like one piece. And then I'm gonna come in with my floral head. Um, you know, sometimes I'll use like two sprays, two flowers. This one, I'm just gonna use two sprays, one flower. And we're gonna lay this stem on top and then we're gonna angle that head up. So it's like kind of like a tree bouquet. They actually are great vase fillers too. So you could take your floral stems, your floral clusters, drop them right into a vase, boom, one and done. You are going to use one of the stems, doesn't matter which, wrap it around. So now I have one piece. This is great for storage because I can just drop these right into a plastic tub, label it, boom, stick it in the attic and it's ready to go. These are long stems, so you're gonna kind of fold it in half. This will keep it from poking out the back side of your tree. Now what I wanna do is run the stem kind of at an upward angle. So see how now we're creating this cascade down with our stems. Stems provide texture in your tree. That's why I love them so, so much. Um, but we always work in like a little bit of a downward motion. So since I'm there, I'm gonna zigzag through my tree. I have nine of these clusters. It's essentially one per foot of tree. So if I had a seven and a half foot, I'm gonna use seven clusters. Uh, I'm gonna use, when you get into 12 foot, you might go a little higher. So I would say anywhere from you know, maybe 14 to 18 clusters. Okay, let's talk about this tree design for a second too. So if you love the design that we're doing right now, we actually have full Christmas tree decor kits. So it comes with, you know, everything you see on the tree except the tree all the flowers, sprays, ribbon, ornaments. You put in your tree size, so like a nine foot. We send you all the product and then you already know how to decorate with it because you're watching this video. So it's so simple. We take all the guesswork out. Or if there's individual things from this tree, individual pieces like the ribbon, um, all of that is available on our website, decoratorswarehouse.com um, in the Natural Elegance Collection, and this is the Natural Elegance Bundle. We also have about five other different themes available, so if you like a more rustic or more whimsical design, we have those as well. Once all my floral clusters are placed, I'm now gonna come in with a few different single stem florals. Um, so this great metallic, we already used a couple up in the top of our tree. And then this beautiful gold metallic. So again, kind of bringing in the mixed metal look, which is so on trend. Um, I have one per foot of tree. So like for this nine foot tree, I'm gonna use nine of these, nine of these. Now remember, I already used a few of these in my topper, um, but the rest I'm gonna work through the body. So same kind of principle here. We're now zigzagging through the tree. Since I have a cluster here, I'll start with this floral stem up near the top. And again, you can kind of bend these or cut these if your stems are too long. All of the flowers are placed. We're now gonna place individual stems. These are what give your tree all of that great texture and dimension and all the interest. So I adore using stems um, as fillers. So I have four stems that I'm gonna be using today. This berry one that was in the topper, actually most of these were in our topper. A leaf, this is another leaf, but it's real nice and wispy. And then I have this real concentrated dewberry, which I love. So we're gonna be using nine of each of these sprays. So in addition to the clusters, you know, I'll use nine of those. Then I use nine of two styles of florals, and then I'm gonna use nine of four sprays. So one cluster, six stems, nine of everything. And guys, if this isn't your style, don't do it. <laughs> Our motto here at Decorators Warehouse is your home, 
your style, your preferences. So if this is too much, scale it back. Maybe instead of using nine of everything, maybe you use five of everything. Or maybe you cut out the floral clusters and you just do sprays and ribbon and ornaments. It's completely, you know, it's completely up to you because it's your home and you're the one living with it. This is our style. We like a lot on our trees. So take what, take the tips and tricks and adapt them to make it your own. And when we're adding these, we're just gonna do that same kind of zigzagging through the tree, um, one style at a time, and then I'll move on to my next style. Even like, see how just adding that one stem, like we created so much airiness right in that spot. That's what these stems are doing. They're giving you that dimension. When I insert this one, it's gonna come compact. Guys, see how like I'm opening that up? That's what we wanna do because when I insert that, gosh, that's beefy. It's gonna cover a lot of area. On this stem, if you want to add a nice little detailing, these come kind of straight. Um, what I like to do, I actually take it around my finger and wrap and then pull it out so it gives it a little bit of a curly cue there. You can do it on all of those. And then just open it up and insert kind of again at that angled. Okay, step three, which is our florals and sprays are finished. We're gonna move into step four, which is our ornaments. This is kind of our last layer and the uh, finishing touch. So we're gonna use a series of balls and a few different shapes and sizes. And then I'm gonna finish with some really beautiful glass. We have the best glass this year um, and I can't wait to show you. But for the balls, we're gonna use, um, I always love Shatterproof in every color. We have different sizes but it's great filler. It's gonna go deeper into the tree. I also have these jewels. You guys were obsessed with the jewels last year. We brought them in in so many more colors, which we're so excited about. Um, but I love this for the mixed metal look. It's gonna bring in a little bit of the brighter gold, a great textured ball. And then lastly, we have this fun uh, onion shaped that has both kind of an ivory and a platinum. So I'm gonna place all my balls and then I'll come in with our finishing specialized ornaments. And so for the ornaments, just kind of pick an odd number, five, sevens, you know, if it's a smaller tree, maybe threes of everything. Um, I'm using seven of these shatterproof balls and I'm gonna go ahead and place them again in that kind of diagonal formation that we, we've been working off of. Okay, all of the balls are placed. So we're gonna come in with our last layer, which is our more specialized glass ornaments that are really gonna dress this up. So um, these are some of my favorites this year. I'm so excited about them. We've got this pearlized one, stunning. Um, I like this one just for the shape. It has that beautiful banding there. We also have it round, but we're just gonna use the finial. And then this one has a nice like texturized raised um, paint design. So we're gonna use those three styles. We also have these new sets of glass. It's a set of six, perfect for the mixed metal look because we do have you know some of the gr more gray platinum tones along with the white. So we're gonna use one of these sets in there as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and place them now. So in addition to this, I have five of each of the other three styles. Did y'all see what I did here? <laughs> These are so gorgeous and I really wanted to show. So I actually used one of the sprays that's coming out of the tree and hung the string right onto the spray itself. That pulls it out a little bit so it's not tucked into the branch, but it's more visible. If you do that though, make sure you find a heavier stem because otherwise it's gonna just pull down. All right, you guys, there you have it. We've just completed our four steps, which were our topper. We moved into our ribbon. We did our florals and sprays, and we ended with our ornaments. So when you think of this as layering, it's so attainable to anybody, no matter your skill level. 
Um, we hope that you at least walked away with some tips and tricks. So we also have a 60,000 square foot store in Arlington, Texas. Um, we're all Christmas. Most of the year we're open except for some of the spring months. We hope that you're able to make it out. And if not, be sure to visit decoratorswarehouse.com. We are on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook as well. Be sure to hop on over and follow us. And we wish you a Merry Christmas and happy decorating.